Luke and Aubrey, it must be magic to have two horses entered up in the bumper at the Dublin Racing Festival. Luke, might start with you first of all. You've been in the game a long time, you've been going to Leperstown for a long time, and for yourself and your son's syndicate to have an entry, and hopefully runners in the same race, that's quite an unusual situation. Yeah, well, it's just the way it's worked out, I suppose. Um, my own horse was won two bumpers, and we were going to go jumping with him, we gave him a break, and Willie wanted to give him an opportunity to see if he was a good horse, so we've decided to stay bumpers and maybe go jumping next season. And uh, the plan was to come here and see how we go and, and uh, kick on to Cheltenham if, he's, if he runs well enough. If not, should we keep him for, for next season? And uh, Aubrey's horse, I just have a share in. It's a thing that he set up during the year. And uh, he bought uh, my great mate off Willie after he won in Galway. Uh, There's a great bunch of people involved in it. I got, I got caught in for a few percent of it. And uh, that's the plan with him. And, Whatever he does this year, he's going to be a very good staying horse next year and exciting horse for the for the crowd. And I think he, we're going to have plenty of fun. So it's great, to, great, great for the syndicate, great for Aubrey that to have a horse running a Grade One like that. You know, great for your family too. Ah, brilliant! Yeah, yeah. I don't know who uh, who they'll be cheering for back home, but um, we'll be we'll be watching both of them anyway. And Aubrey, you've set up Temple Bloodstock, and your dad's involved. You're going to have possibly a runner as well. Uh, just tell me about both horses if you can, and 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 the the why you set up Temple Bloodstock. Yeah, both horses. We you ought to know. Obviously, is his horse. You ought to know. Uh, they he had the uh, the dam pond. Alma was her name. She was in training with Willie. She never got to run, but she had a very good pedigree. So it was his turn to breed off, and he stuck her in fold to beat Hollow. And here we are with with him. Um, and my great mate bought him after after he won in Galway during the summertime. Uh, I was looking to add, we had two horses already with Temple Bloodstock, I was looking to add another one and um, it was just the fact he was in Willie's and Willie's system and Jackie owned her, so owned him I should say. So I just thought it looked a good opportunity if um, we could get a syndicate to, to buy him and thankfully we got a great bunch of lads to, um, to take him. But it's great for a syndicate to have a runner at the Dublin Racing Festival. That's magic stuff. It's kind of bonus territory they're in, possibly. It's fantastic. I didn't listen. It's to, for us to go there. A lot of people involved. It's their first runner. You know, there's um, there's about 18 people in them. Um, it was their first winner in Punchestown for a lot of them. And we just uh, spoke with Willie after Punchestown, and Willie just was keen to give everyone. If we stay to bumpers, we can run our fourth run in. Leopardstown and fingers crossed if we can come out of there okay and run well and come out of it sound Willie was keen to go over the water in March to to do that so we'll, we'll, we'll try and get there next Saturday first but that was the the plan after um, Punchestown so it's a dream for for everyone now so and we're very looking forward to it and the pair of you had great success together I remember you won a couple of amateur handicaps at Galway when you were riding but it's the new venture Temple Bloodstock and and you've got to try and encourage more people to get involved and and get the ball rolling properly maybe over the next few years yeah keen to keen to grow it it's listen it was great to get off to a good start in Punchestown with my great mate uh, we have another horse called Toons of Vader. Uh, worked well last Thursday I was down there so he sh hopefully he'll be out in the next couple of weeks um, so this the whole idea is to um, these are kind of form horses that we've seen we chanced them and they're obviously going to Willie and um, so it's just it's just great to get the ball rolling and we're hoping to add a couple of horses to the string as we go along so aspirations for the weekend uh, I think it's a, it looks a top class bumper now. I, I think you could finish fifth or sixth and run a cracker. So we'll, we'll just have to see if we got on it. But it's it's you see the entry is a dream to share. Um, like every it's as good a bumper as I've probably seen in a long time anyhow. So but it, it's it'll be fantastic to be in them waters and to be in the freighting for that race.